Courtney Buckley, C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y, Buckley, B-U-C-K-L-E-Y. People call me Co. that's C-E-A-U-X, like Go Saints. Okay, so mm. that's the, the name that you use Co, for yes. going Yes. Right. Explain to me, how did you get into graffiti? Um, I got into graffiti, I got into graffiti as a teenager. I was 16 before I started writing, just based on my friends rapping and stuff. I didn't, I didn't know how to rap good or whatever. I didn't DJ and I didn't break dance, so graffiti was a natural step for me because I knew how to draw. So as I learned how to draw, I just developed different hand styles, different like color, color schemes and all type of stuff, and it just kind of happened naturally. Okay. How did you become a part of Exhibit B? I became a uh, part of Project B. Me and me and Brandon go back a while, like ever since he was custom painting shirts. Like we used to do that, you know. And I knew him from doing that before I actually met him in person. So as years progressed, we crossed paths a lot. You know, we started painting together here and there and everything so you know it, it just kind of happened naturally like it just formed out of time we was never really formally introduced to each other but you know we always was around the same circus so how does it feel being a part of a project it's to me i, I look at it different because it's different when you're on the inside on the planet side of things but it also gives you a greater appreciate uh, greater appreciation for what's actually happening because to see this spot is just you know like a rundown place you know, random, you know, tags here and there to seeing stories, different levels, just a whole complex full of different size pieces. You're just looking like, you know, you, you never realize the potential that something has until you actually see it. So I can only imagine what the people who didn't see the process, like when they walk in here, they're probably just blown away. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just amazing to see how things turn around that fast. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel proud. Just the fact, because I, you know, I'm the observant type, so I walk around, you know, I don't really tell people what I did and stuff. I just look at the way people react to certain pieces and just to see how they, appre how they appreciate different artworks is, I always look at it like amazing to me because somebody is paying attention to something that you did, so it's just, you know, it means a lot. Like it's, you know, you appreciate that type of stuff. Uh, tell me some of the organizations or groups that you're a part of. I'm a part of Axiom Artists Collective. It's a newly formed collective of young people from New Orleans. So, you know, we're part of a gallery at 4613 Ferret Street. Different art shows every month. You know, it's just, that's like really the main focus right now. I'm a part of different groups, but as far as art, Axiom Artists Collective is, is what it is. How can people uh, contact or what are the days or things are being done? Um, it, it's monthly events. We post it on uh, the, the Instagram page. It's probably where the most information is. It's at Axiom Gallery, A-X-I-O-M Gallery. You know, that's where we post different stuff. So it's, it's easy to keep up with. Okay. Mm. As far as someone following you, what social media sites do you have? Um, I'm on everything. Um, Instagram is probably what I pay the most attention to. And it's, it's at Co Artwork, C E A U X A R T W O R K. And that's also my email address at Gmail. So either way, it's, you know. Okay, do you have a website? Um, Coartwork.com. It's about the same way C E A U X A R T W O R K.com. Okay. Try to keep it consistent, make it easy for people. Right. Now, to sum this up in three sentences, how would you explain what art means to you? Art is life. Art is everything, and I'm truly blessed to say and mean that I'm an artist.